solidarity message and if we could all pay attention to what he's going to say or read out for us as part of their um, message of solidarity. Brother Kwame, could I ask you to introduce yourself first before you proceed? Yes, I am Kwame Osai Tahaka, which is the name I have adopted. Um, I'm from the Caribbean originally, and I'm a member of the British chapter of the All African People's Revolutionary Party. You see Zanon here on the chairman of Mugabe, I'm realizing those things. You've got the land, never let it go. Never let that land go. Do not sell it, keep it for your children and your children's children. That's what our ancestors wanted. That's where they fought, that's where they died. I am very glad and very happy that you invited the All African People's Representative Party to your celebration and to permit me to give this message of solidarity to Zimbabwe, the people of Zimbabwe, uh, Zara PF and Chairman Robert Mugabe. If I may, I'd like to start this start of this message with uh, a prayer. Now it is an unusual prayer because this prayer was actually said in 1791 by an African by the name of Bookman Dutty. Now that's a very, very important name in the history of the African people in the diaspora in the Americas. Now, this happened one night when they were camping in the woods in Haiti. Um, so the African brothers and sisters gathered around and lit our fire. And they sacrificed a pig in the name of the West African god Ubuntu, which as you know is the god now, this was a very significant time for the people of Haiti, as we now know. And the brother, Bokman Dutty, started off the prayer by saying, The God who created the earth, who created the sun that gives us light, the God who holds up the ocean, who makes the thunder roar, our God has ears to hear. You who are here in the clouds, who watch us from where you are. You see all that the white has made us suffer. The white man's God asked him to commit crimes, but the God within us wants to do good. Our God, who is so good, so just, he orders us to revenge our wrongs. It's he who will direct our arms and bring us the victory. It's he who will assist us. We all should throw away the image of the white man's God who is so pitiless. Listen to the voice for liberty that speaks in all our hearts. And from that prayer, the Haitian Revolution was launched. Now, we you know that these were spoken by Africans on the island of Haiti in 1791. They were enslaved, as we know, and they had to liberate themselves from tyranny of the French, the British, and held on the the European yoke. Now why is, this significant? why is this significant? The Haitian struggle set the example for African liberation anywhere in the world, throughout the Western Hemisphere and in Africa itself. Now this happened in 1791. So we can see straight away Africans that started the liberation struggle at the same time. 
it teaches us a lesson today. And that lesson is, no, home, no matter how much we are outnumbered, no matter how much we are outgunned, as long as we are united as a people, we will overcome and always succeed. The Afghans in Haiti faced the might of Europe in 1791. But can you see, it's not a might what Zimbabwe is facing today in the 21st century. Like Zimbabwe, she was sanctioned by the Europeans. The Africans in Haiti could not get any supplies. They had to work on to liberate themselves from whatever implements they had. So we can see, isn't this the same thing that's happening in Zimbabwe? Zimbabwe free herself, liberate herself. All that blood was shed. But the external forces sanctioned her. She was not supposed to rise up. As long as Africans were in power at the helm in Haiti, no other nation. Now Haiti ejected the British, the French world powers at that time. But as long as it was the African in charge, they didn't venture back into that island, even to today. Zana Pierre, Chairman Mugabe and the Zimbabwean who fought that struggle of liberation. They epitomize the spirit, African spirit, that is in us, which came out in Haiti. So many years, but that spirit of liberation culminated in getting rid of that regime in Zimbabwe. Western powers, and those powers are enemies. They will not give up. They will always want us back where we were, dominate our land, take away from us, our people abused. So, Zimbabwe today is a beacon in that land of Africa. Don't ever forget that. Like Haiti, in the current, the first black republic in the world. Zimbabwe epitomized that power and that resilience. Mm. She has a problem navigating the political seas that is turbulent and against her. But she will overcome because the spirit, that spirit, that African spirit of liberation runs deep through the soil and the blood that was shed in Zimbabwe. Western hegemony will never conquer Zimbabwe. And it's significant because Zimbabwe is very central to Africa. What happens in Zimbabwe will have vast influence and effect on the rest of Africa. It's central. Things happen from the center of the radiant outlook. So we must support Mugabe and Zana Pierre in that effort to maintain the bear. The land, the question of land, was the core to the operation African struggle throughout Africa. But some countries in Africa today haven't resolved the land question. Zimbabwe, again, leading Africans in how to liberate their land. Without land, there's no liberation. Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah. Indigenous, indigenization, given the black man, the indigenous people of, the, of Zimbabwe, power. That's what the world is all about. The liberal democracy is not what they talk about freedom and so on. You cannot have freedom without your land and the people of the land have the power to use the resources of that land. Please do ask.
recovering our land and indigenization. Have been realized, Zimbabwe is not free and independent. But how free is Zimbabwe? Again, we refer back to Haiti today, where we see a broken country with a proud African people. But how did she become so poor and dilapidated? And the world looking at her with pity. How did she come in? The bad governments, corruption, contribute, contributed to her demise. But most importantly, it was her audacity in fighting to break free from her oppressors that has contributed most to her present state. Who said that? Why should you be allowed to go free? How dare you fight and defeat our people? How dare you? You must suffer. A warning, indeed. The oppressor does not give up. He does not accept defeat and attempts by any means to return those who have rebelled back into their places. That's right. The Zimbabwe Revolution is not complete, but it has a chance to make a difference to indigenous Africans in Zimbabwe. Unity of the people, unity of purpose, and ideological unity is what we need. Kwame Ture Aka Stokika Maya once said that there were only two economic systems that we know of. One is capitalism and the other is socialism. One is natural to the African and the other damaging. Capitalism is the main obstruction of the African Revolution and a counter-revolutionary factor that is plaguing in Africa. Capitalism is individualistic, open to market forces and controlled by external forces. It is foolhardy to rely on market forces when you don't have any input or influences on those market forces. The price of Zimbabwean diamonds, for instance, is not set by Zimbabweans who dig them out of the ground. The added value of Zimbabwean I mean, diamonds are set by Europe and Israel. How can we make progress when the market for diamonds is not controlled by people who does not have the raw material? Not just Zimbabwe, but throughout the whole of Africa. External forces on the capitalism set and determines the price. We are controlled. My fellow Africans, we have to find another way other than capitalism to drive our economies. Is socialism an alternative? We have to decide. Another major contributor to realize African development is representative democracy. Why do I say this? Representative democracy is divisive in its nature. It only looks out for its appearances with an elite who does not represent or care for the people. Its tenure in office is short, and when the incumbents are voted out of